commutative property is usually summed up with symbols. They say that A plus B plus C, you take these numbers and you can switch the order around to maybe add them as B plus C plus A or some other combination. But what they're saying is, it doesn't matter because the commutative property says, whatever order I add these numbers, I still get the same result. And the same is true for multiplication by A times B times C, or B times A times C, or any order, I won't be changing my answer. Now this property is very valuable and really awesome. And let's um, try and break this word down, commutative because it's much more friendly than we think. Think of the word commute. If you commute, you travel. And for this property, the numbers travel around. And we should make a little note that this doesn't work for subtraction or division, only addition and multiplication. And it would look something like this, 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6, equals 6. But that also equals 2 plus 3 plus 1. Or 3 plus 1 plus 2, and we can keep going. Same multiplication, 1 times 2 times 3, that equals 6, which equals 1 times 3 times 2, or 2 times 1 times 3, and so forth. Now, why is this so awesome? Well. Sometimes we get really cool problems that look really nasty, like this one, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus um, 9.99 plus negative 2 plus negative 3 plus negative 4 plus negative 1 plus negative 5. Now, I'm going to use a combination kind of, of the associative property, which means I can group numbers differently. So let's write that down the associative property. This kind of tells us that we can group numbers. So if we had a plus b plus c, I could add a plus b first and then add c. Or I could add b plus c first and then add a. And it wouldn't matter. Now, combining those two properties to this problem makes our lives a lot easier. So instead of going from left to right, starting 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is 10, I could look around the equation. So always take time to do this and look around, and maybe start circling numbers that cancel out when we add them. These are called opposites. 1 plus negative 1, that's 0. So I changed the order. Instead of adding 1 plus 2, I added 1 and negative 1 first, and I grouped those two. And I can keep going. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 3 plus negative 3 is 0, and 4 plus negative 4 is 0, and 5 plus negative 5 is 0, and there's the answer of 99. And that was much quicker than going from left to right.